I am so excited about today's art project. So we're gonna be learning about an artist named Bisa Butler, and she's one of my favorites. She's a new favorite of mine. I only learned about her within the last year. She is a textile artist. That means that she works with fabric and thread and a sewing machine, and she uses quilts in her artwork. We're gonna be learning a lot more about her by watching a video about her, and then we're gonna be creating step one of our next project. So it's going to end up being a portrait of someone, it might be a self-portrait or it might be a portrait of someone else. And today though, we're gonna work on the background for it. So our background that we make is gonna have something to do with the person that we're gonna be drawing in the portrait. So one of mine that I did is a background of pencils. One that I did that's very similar to one in her artwork is one with orange slices. This one I made to kind of look like a quilt background because I was thinking if I did a drawing of my mom, my mom really loves quilting, so I could make one that kind of looked like a quilt in the background. And I also did one that was full of leaves because I really like plants and I was thinking if I wanted to do a self-portrait, then I could have a leaf background in the, in the uh, background. So I'm gonna be, um, you're gonna be watching the video about her, learning more about her and what her art's all about, and then we'll get started. I'm really excited to, to share with you this project related to Bisa Butler. I first learned about her this past year and I am so drawn to her work. The colors in it, the patterns in it, the way she uses portraits of people from old photos and then transforms them into quilts. It's just, it's pretty amazing. Um, today for our project, we're gonna be working on the background and then next time when you have art, we'll work on the portrait part of it. So these are some examples that I made for backgrounds so far. Um, the one, this one in particular, they're, oh, I didn't finish it yet. These are orange slices. I have to finish coloring the outer edge. This is actually one that was um, in the video that uh, of Bisa Butler and her work. So uh, that's one directly from her work. But these are two that I created. I created this one with the leaves, and then I created this one that's supposed to kind of look like quilt squares, and then these zigzags or chevron pattern at the bottom. Now, here's where you have to take a little bit of time and just think about this. Next week when we do the second part of the project, you are going to be drawing a picture of either yourself or someone else. You can, if you're drawing yourself, you can look in the mirror while you're drawing yourself. If you are drawing someone in your family, you can sit down with them and look at them while you're drawing them. If you want to take a photo the way that um, Bisa Butler does, you could take an, a photo, you'd have to talk to your family about it bar, and borrow it, and then you could look at it while you sketch the picture of that person. So either way, you need to make a decision about who your project's gonna be about. And you need to decide that today because your background is gonna relate to that person. So for example, when I was doing this, this particular background, I had thought about, okay, I'm gonna draw a picture of my mom and I want the background to reflect her. My mom also likes to sew and make quilts, a lot like Bisa Butler makes quilts. And so I tried to make the background look like little quilt squares that are sewn together. I also made sure I used a lot of this color, this teal, because my mom really likes that. And then this zigzag pattern just kind of reminded me of her as well. So that's why I did that. When I drew this one, I actually was thinking about myself 
and how much how happy I am when I'm outside planting flowers or taking care of them plants and flowers and all kinds of things like that so I what I did for this was I went online I just googled plant or no I googled leaf images and then when I found different pictures I just practiced sketching them on my paper and then traced them and colored them in with my marker so it, it really you need to think about the person that you're going to draw and then think of a background it can be as you know simple as something like an orange if that relates to the person you're drawing it could be something with rainbow colors if that relates to the person you're drawing or maybe a pattern of soccer balls or maybe maybe some type of pattern with a certain shape that reminds you of someone so really everybody's picture is going to be different you're going to need to think about how it relates to the person you're choosing so i'm going to give you a minute i'm going to i'm going to stop the video for a second here you can pause the video figure out first who you're going to be drawing Okay, so I'm gonna be drawing a picture of my daughter. So I know I'm gonna be doing that next week. So I'm thinking of a background that would relate to her right now. And she loves, very much loves to draw right now. She's She spends a lot of time doing that. And she really only likes to use pencil. So I think what I'm gonna do for my background is I'm gonna have some, like a design with pencils and then um, I'll be tracing it. You are not going to start with pencils for yours. You're gonna choose something that relates to the person you're drawing, unless it happens to be pencils, but most likely it won't be. So I'm gonna start and you go ahead and start on yours.
Okay, I have all the pencils drawn for my background that I want. So now I'm either gonna take a Sharpie and trace it, or I can use different color markers to trace it. It's really just up to me and what I kind of feel like doing. I think I am going to use, um, I think I'm gonna use just my regular markers to trace most of it. Um, so you can go ahead and start tracing yours when you're ready.
when your project is totally done for the background, this is just step one, remember, you're going to have just the background colored in. If you wanna leave a little white space like I did in between, that's fine, but most of it should have color. Um, you'll have anything that you drew, traced and colored in. I'm just gonna show you the last couple. So make sure that you keep this part of your project somewhere really safe. You're gonna need it next week. We'll do the portrait next week and then we'll attach it to this. Can't wait to see them. Um, make sure you take a picture of what you did this week and turn it in. Thank you. See you next time.